Hi, this is Eric and welcome to my video series. So in the previous video series, we saw how to configure reporting services. Now let's see how we can deploy the reporting services. So we do have this report here now and to deploy the report, it's as easy as you just, you can either uh, right click if you wanna just deploy one report or you can just deploy both of these reports. So you just right click under projects. So this is the solution, this is the project. You right click on a project and you can go to properties, double check and everything looks good. And then you can just go ahead and right click and hit deploy. So you're gonna get this output window. You're gonna wait, you're gonna get this message and then you're gonna deploy this, the page you're gonna deploy and you're gonna tell it has been succeeded. You can see here, succeeded, zero fail, zero skip. Build succeeded and all that, okay? So once you get this successful message, you can click this link here or you can copy and paste your uh, uh, URL and you can view a report and verify if it looks good. So let's go ahead and see how our report looks like. So there are two links. Uh, first of all, remember that uh, if I refresh this link, now I'm gonna see another folder which is EHR notifications. Which I don't see it. And um, I have to go to the find folder. I think I'll see this guy here. If I click here, I'll see two reports. And these are the two reports really I have created. I'm gonna close this window. Maybe I'll just put it down here. You're gonna see you have these two reports here. If you make changes in one report, you don't have to deploy both of them. You can just right click and deploy one report. So these are the report level. This is at the project level. Uh, I had to change how to deploy the reports. If I have 10 reports and I only made changes to one report, or I just created one new report. Okay, so I do have two reports and you can click, for example, the first one, it will just display that information and you're gonna see that report. And I'm gonna show um, the uh, my favorite window. I like this, if I refresh now this, I'm gonna see another folder, which is gonna be HR notifications. Okay, this is the folder. If I go in the folder, I'm gonna see both of these reports. If I click on this report, I'll see my report and I can see uh, it needs a little bit of work. So uh, that's a good example. I'm just gonna go ahead and uh, make that. And I'll see, I see all notes. Oh, okay, you see a verified. So I'm gonna say, oh, I want to see what has been verified. All I'm gonna see is yes, yes, yes. And guess what? Um, uh, probably that's gonna be a home. Um, show me if you want to display both, verified and not verified. That means you're gonna have to create another um, icon to say, or oh, maybe you're gonna have to use a drop down, or oh, true and false, verified, yes or no. And you can change this as true and false, which are yes or no. But for now, you just see uh, if it has been checked or not. Okay, so this is the report, and if you wanna make any changes here, for example, in the message here, I can be like, boom, boom, save this, you don't have to save really, but right click and deploy. Boom, boom, boom. So if I go back to my report, I can just refresh this window, go back here and click the report again. And I'll see that maybe that has changed. The funny thing is, watch, <laughs> if I click this one here to preview, oh, it has changed too. That's fine, great. But if sometimes may not change and uh, you may need to really uh, delete that um, report, the, the um, rdl.data. But now we can see our report, we can see our parameter here, that's how it works. Okay, so thank you very much. On this video, I'll show you guys how to deploy the report and all you need is to right click at the project level and hit deploy or to right click. So as I was telling you guys, this is the development area, that's where report developer um, um, 
works to edit the report make changes make it look pretty and then on this link this is the link which you're gonna send to your users to your customers to view all they need is the browser and the internet access of the network our access to be uh serve out the reporting source and all that so that's all you need really um you give that to your end user and they can just browse it from anywhere within the network um my next videos i'll show you guys how to uh, grant access how to authorize or uh, give users access to this report thank you very much and you have a wonderful day see you on my next video soon